Hi guys, this is Shivaradi. In this session, I am going to explain Java interview question and answers on overloading and overriding concepts. This is the one of the uh, frequently used uh, interview question. So I am going to explain this concept using an example. Now let us go ahead and start. The first one is overloading. Overloading means in a class, in a single class, more than one method having the same name with different parameters is known as the overloading. For example, if we take the in area method here, area method, it is going to take the one argument. And if you say another method also have defined with the same name with the different argument, here it is going to take the two argument. So in a single class, more than one method having the same name is known as same name with the different arguments is known as the uh, is known as overloading. So overloading is possible be, uh, in three ways. First one is by changing the number of the argument. For example, here I have changed, uh, I am taking uh, here area method is going to the one parameter or an argument. In this case, it is going to the two arguments. So based on the number of the parameters, it is possible. Second one is based on the data type. For example, here it is the integer integer. Here I can specify float float. For example, here I am specifying float float. So that means by changing the data type, that is the one thing. And third one is by cha by changing the sequence of the data type. For example, here integer long. In this area method, it is taking the integer and long. So similarly, you can you can overload another method by changing the data type that is long int. So these are the three ways you can uh, achieve the overloading in a class. First one is based on the different number of the argument. Second one is by changing the data type. Third one is by changing the sequence of the data type, which is defined for uh, which is defined for this particular method. So these are the three ways you can achieve the overloading in a class. So the key point is the overloading is going to be execute, uh, exhibited in a single class. Next one is the next question is can we over, uh, overload the constructor? Yes, it is possible to overload the constructor because in a class you can create a multi, uh, you can create a number of uh, constructor based on your requirement. For example, if we take this area class, I have created a one, I have created as a default constructor. Second one is the it is uh, two parameterized constructors because this uh, constructor is going to to the two parameters and. I am creating one more using the three parameters. So I have created a three parameter, uh, three parameterized constructor. So constructor can be overloaded. And if you see here, all the constructors will have the same name with the different arguments is known as nothing but the overloading. Now, the next question will ask is like, can we overload the main method? Yes, it is possible because whenever you are uh, Java JVM trying to load your program or running your program, they always JVM look for this particular syntax. But if you want to provide the same name with the different uh, um, parameters, it is possible. For example, if you see here, public static void main, I am passing the input um, integer as an argument. But in the case of main method, it should be, it must be the string of args. So you can over uh, overload the main method also. This is the frequently asked uh, questions on the overloading. And also you can overload uh, the static um, methods and also you can overload the final methods also. That means you can, you can create a final methods and you can overload that also. That is not a problem. For example, you can specify like final and here you can specify uh, the double DIU double and uh, you can specify double and it is double. Okay, so even you can override the final method, so uh, overload uh, the overload the final method. So, so that is the concept of the overloading. Now let us see what is meant by overriding. Overriding the first criteria is it should have the inheritance relationship. That means parent class and subclass should be there. That is we will call as a easier relationship. So in order to exhibit the overriding, easier relation is the mandatory. And second one is superclass and subclass should have the same method signature. For example, if you see here, the I have defined a superclass where there are two methods. That is 
public wide display method and if is uh, and also public wide display one which is going to take the one argument same with the same method signature i have defined the methods in the subclass also if you see here public wide display and also public wide display it is going to take the one argument in input now what happens is what is meant by overriding is overriding means it is going to uh, the subclass method is going to override the superclass uh, method functionality is known as overriding now what happens is when i create an object for the subclass and when i invoke the display method this display method functionality will overrides the superclass display method that means you will get only subclass implementation so if i say here the main uh, main method i have written and i created a subclass uh, object then i calling i am calling the subclass uh, um, display uh, display method and display one i am passing one not one now when i run this program you can see that the output of the program is going to be the subclass implementation if you see here subclass display method that means it has called this one and uh, the next one is subclass display one method uh, subclass display one method means it has called a display one so that is what it means um, the overriding means the subclass method is uh, subclass method is going to override the super class, uh, super class functionality is known as the overriding now the next question is can we uh, override the static methods static methods are not going to be override because the uh, static methods are actually belongs to the class rather than it uh, rather than the object hence what happens is you can't override the static methods even though if you are trying to implement the static method basically what happens is the superclass uh, implementation will be hide from the subclass so you can't override the static class uh, static methods next one is can we override the final method no it is not possible if you declare any uh, method as a final in, in the in your superclass and if you want to try to override it is going to uh, give the compiled error saying like cannot override the cannot override the final method okay so this is the uh, another answer uh, another question now next one is um then what is the main uh, advantage uh, main advantage of the uh, overriding now the main advantage of the overriding is whenever you have a superclass having the certain functionality then when you are trying to extend the uh, say, uh, superclass to the subclass you will get the existing functionality now if you want to provide your own functionality or you want to provide your own way of implementation in the subclass then you are going to override that uh, override that method and you can provide a implementation which is specific to the subclass that is the main advantage of the overriding now what is the advantage of the overloading the main advantage of the overloading is the um, readability because if you see here with the same method name you are trying to uh, calculate uh, you are trying to multiply uh, ma manipulate the different things or you are trying to provide the functionality so using the area everybody can understand like yes there is in a certain um, area is calculated it, either it might be a, a square or it might be a triangle or it might be a rectangle so that code read re, re, code readability is going to be more when you are trying to use the overloading and overriding is you can provide your own specific implementation when when you are trying to extend certain certain functionality already defined in the superclass if you want to provide your own implementation then you will use the overriding so that's all about the um, uh, most of the co concepts and the uh, questions so let us iterate you know about i explained what is overloading and overriding the advantages i covered and can we overload the main method yes it is possible can we override the static final methods no it is not possible and can we overload the constructor yes we can over, over um, overload the constructors and is it possible to uh, overload by changing the return type no it is not possible by changing the return type it is not possible because there is always there is always ambiguity might be occurs while you are uh, trying to uh, trying to change the return type for example if you if you see here it is the going to take the integer long and here long to integer if i specify both as a long okay what happens is whenever you are 
uh, passing some values here what happens is at the compile time uh, the both values might be result into the one then that might be lead to the problem hence by changing the return type it is not possible to get the over, uh, not possible to overload the uh, overload the uh, methods okay so if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video and uh, please do subscribe to my youtube channel to get more technical videos thanks for watching